But here's yeah. a follow-up question, right? And I've been kind of battling with this myself a little bit recently. How, like, let's say you want to create videos, but you just, you don't have the inspiration in that moment. Should you still turn on the camera and just do it so you get the content out there? Or should you not do that and just wait until you have that spark of inspiration? My answer to that used to be yes. I think when you are starting out, your answer should be yes to that question. Just get the content out there because in the beginning, you're going to be rubbish. Six months after the beginning, you're not going to be a whole lot better. The only way you get better is to do, 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 and get that stuff out there. So even if you don't feel like recording a video, and by the way, most of the time you won't feel like recording a video, do it anyway, get the content out there. And also you'll be surprised at the things that you think aren't that good that resonate with people and the things you think are brilliant <laughs> that nobody cares about. So <laughs> yes. you, can't, you can't go on a jury of one. You need to let people decide what's good and what's valuable. So I think definitely in the beginning, the answer is yes. More recently, and this is like the last couple of weeks and months recently, my answer to that is changing to no, where I'm not putting pressure on myself to have daily content or multiple times a week content i think i don't think you can just go off the radar for weeks and months at a time but making sure that the stuff that goes out there is of a decent quality but it doesn't have to be that frequent i don't think focus it starting to focus on a little bit more of that quality content and when you get to the point where you have an idea of what your audience wants and what they're looking for you then have an idea of what that quality content actually is. And then you don't need to do so much of it. You just focus on, right, well, what are they asking for right now? What do they need right now? And you give it to them. And this could be, this could actually be an hour long training instead of seven, one minute Instagram videos. So it might actually take you longer in terms of time, but it's less long in terms of frequency of, of content. So yeah, my answer to that depends on where you are in your journey at the beginning, in the intermediate stages, just say yes, just put it out there, put it out there, put it out there. But eventually it gets to a point where you are creating content for content's sake. And I think your audience feels that there's just an emotional, intangible thing where they go, yeah, I'm, I'm not really digging this. And that's when you can start to reduce the frequency and focus a little bit more on the quality of what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. It's like I say, it's something I've, I've battled with a little bit recently with some of the other platforms I post on. I think one way around it, in a sense, is when you do feel inspired, when you, you do want to do videos, is to create lots of them, right? So create mm, like five yeah. at a time. So when you do have those days or weeks where you're not motivated, you just don't want to be on camera, you've got that backlog where you can just kind of throw that out there and it doesn't seem like you're off the beat, if you like. You're yeah, being consistent. Yeah but you're not having to show up every single day in that elevated state. That, that's something I'm playing about with a lot more uh, recently myself. 